Have you ever thought about flipping a coin to make an important life decision before? Sometimes it feels like that would just be the wiser decision. While other times, you're happy to have full control of the situation. Customize it to your liking. Well, the meta-modern paradigm deals with this push and pull between chance and customization. It's accepting that everything is really random, but it's also saying, I don't want to give up this control that I have. I mean, it's like the point of human existence. So what happens is we work meticulously to make these systems for ourselves that allow us to control, to move on a slider the amount of chance or control we want. These are called parametric systems. Not just chance operations like the situationists. These are pragmatic coin flipping scenarios. So here, using the brief Explain Metamodernism, I will show how this approach can be applied. With metamodernism, there are multiple ways you can explain it. In different contexts, to different people, in different situations, at different times. You kind of need to work around whatever is appropriate. And there really are multiple definitions, multiple ways to understand this theory. And sometimes, we might need a little help. We might need to set some parameters around how this will be explained. So what we would do is take this larger ambiguous definition, maybe the manifesto, and break it up into smaller bits that each can be used as their own definition in a way of metamodernism. There are each parts of a whole definition, yet explain it individually. So what I've done is created a hanging chain, almost like the hanging chain that Gaudi used, but not. Still very different, but it represents this pendulum that swings between these different definitions. And so, by way of chance, you can generate the definition of metamodernism that you will follow, that you will use to understand this theory. But also, the parametric system is not just about this chance of having a, a chain fly over the definition and automatically choosing that for you. You can repeat it multiple times and create your own manifesto, create your own meaning. And what happens is that through chance, through generative systems, you find results that were perhaps surprising, perhaps something that you didn't think about before, but something that you were looking for and couldn't quite distinguish because choice was in your way. And so it's not so much to pick fun of metamodernism to say that there's so many different definitions, who cares, let's just pick one. That's more of a postmodern approach. This approach is actually constructive, or at least it's attempting to be. It's attempting to help you kind of single in on a definition. And it's what you do after this random generated result that gives you the customization. And perhaps it gives you more ability to customize exactly how you want it.